Have I ever felt threatened as a woman here in China? Walking to the train by myself, like like 11:30, and I got really scared. Like, I like forgot what it was like to feel scared to walk by myself. I got my purse snatched at a Riverside restaurant. I didn't see them take it. I just went to get it at the end of the meal, and my purse was gone. You don't want to be walking down the street in the night. You don't want to go under any tunnels. You don't want to go through any parks. Am I safe? I don't know. Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Now in today's video, we're going to look at a very interesting topic and ask a very specific question. The question is, is China safe for women? Now, you may have seen a lot of videos recently from China-based YouTubers looking at what they think about Chinese safety and how safe it is to live in China. We even have made videos about this topic. But today, I want to hear from a few different women living in different parts of the country and I want them to tell us how safe they feel living in China as women compared with other places they have lived in around the world. Hi, my name is Ursula. I am from the Netherlands and we moved to China in 2011. We lived in Hangzhou for seven years and now we're living in Shenzhen for five years. Hello, my name is Yinmei O'Connor. I am from Los Angeles, California, and I currently live in Beijing. I first moved here in 2012, and then I lived here until 2019, where it became difficult to live here. Uh, I got stuck out, but I just moved back a few months ago. Hi everyone, I'm Emily. I am the co-creator of the YouTube channel Chongqing Punk, as well as a webcomic of the same name. Uh, I am American, but I've lived in China for 13 years. I currently live in Chongqing, but before that I spent 10 years living in a prefecture level city called Luzhou in Sichuan province. Okay guys, so I've got some questions for you. Question number one is, have you ever felt threatened, intimidated or scared during your time in China? And do you feel vulnerable when you're out alone? If so, please tell us about it. If not, tell us about that too. Have I ever felt threatened in China as a woman? No, absolutely not. I've lived in China for 13 years and not one time did I feel threatened. Not one time was I even insulted by some stranger on the street. And definitely I've not been chased and felt like I am in any danger. And that's not always been the case. I've lived in many different places and I've traveled to many different countries. And for example, I lived in the UK where one time I was standing outside the post office just waiting in broad daylight and this group of guys just ran by and pulled my skirt over my head. Now something like that, I can't imagine that ever happening in China. I've also traveled to a little bit more dangerous places like uh, South Africa, Cape Town and there's many rules there uh, that you should just obey if you want to keep safe, especially as a woman. You don't want to be walking down the street in the night, you don't want to go under any tunnels, you don't want to go through any parks, and in general it's better to just stick with a group, at least be in broad daylight, right? Well, I stuck to those rules and still, man, I got jumped by a couple of guys uh, thinking that I had like a wallet with money or something, which I didn't because I keep that stuff well hidden in my bra, but still I could not escape it. And I just can't imagine that happening to me here in China. Am I safe? I don't know. I'm really excited Ursula has asked this question uh, because I think the discussion is China safe uh, gets used as a weapon to decide someone's ideology is better than someone else's when uh, really my day-to-day -day experience is not about that. It is about, am I, how do I feel in any given situation? You know, whenever I go to a new place, 
I do get a little nervous. I like to get the lay of the land. What's the situational awareness I need to have? Honestly, in China, um, if we're talking safety, I feel like health and safety is a bigger concern of mine. Uh, I know I've been allowed to wander around closer to a construction site than I feel like should be allowed. And when you're in a city, you always have to be smart. You always have to be on the lookout. Are there people around? Do they look friendly? That kind of thing. So I don't feel like that's significantly different between uh, living in Luzhou, let's say, and my hometown of New York City. But largely, I don't feel like people are out to get you. Specifically at intercity bus stations, I feel like the, the people who want to give you a ride or have you stay in their hotel are particularly cutthroat and have worried, are, is someone trying to kidnap me here? Um, but I do maybe think the biggest danger there is getting wildly overcharged. Hey guys, time out. I just want to interrupt this video to tell you about our merchandise shelf, which is directly below the screen here. We've got some cool t-shirts, sweatshirts, and caps. It would be great if you can take a look. If you like this video, don't forget to press like and subscribe to our channel. Now back to the video. As far as ever feeling threatened in Beijing, Honestly, it is definitely one of the safest places I've ever been in. Uh, even throughout Asia, it's one of the safer places. Um, of course, there's a little bit of feeling vulnerable when you don't fully understand the language and um, you might just have some miscommunication things. But as far as truly feeling worried about myself, uh, I've felt pretty safe on the street. I have no problem wandering around by myself at like four in the morning. Um, I don't feel worried about having my phone out, you know, or like things gonna get stolen or I'm gonna get purse snatched or nothing like that. And um, I've definitely, you know, left a few friends. I feel bad about this, but I've left a few friends like quite drunk by themselves. And like, I know that they're gonna be all right. You know, like they're not gonna, I, you know, you try to move them as hard as you can, but at a certain point, like you're not too worried that they're gonna get robbed or like have something bad happen to them. Um, and this is quite different from, especially where I come from, I'm from Los Angeles. And uh, I was actually home one time visiting and I'd been in China for like six years. And uh, I left a club by myself at like one in the morning. No, not even, it was like before midnight cause I was gonna catch the last train. And I was walking to the train by myself, like at like 11.30 and I got really scared. Like I like forgot what it was like to feel scared to walk by myself on the street. And I definitely like started, took off my shoes, started running for the station cause I was wearing little heels. And uh, yeah, so I've never experienced anything like that in China. Like it doesn't matter what time it is or what neighborhood I am in Beijing. I feel very safe to wander by myself. Uh, I have been crimed on twice in a nonviolent way in China. Uh, once was I got my purse snatched at a Riverside restaurant. I didn't see them take it. I just went to get it at the end of the meal and my purse was gone. The second time I had a crime done to me. Um, it was me and a lot of people were the victims. A local gym of ours had a aggressive membership drive and then they just disappeared with all of the money. China is a very safe place for women. Do you agree with this statement? In my opinion, yes. I have traveled to many places and this place right here for me has been the safest place to be. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be alert, right? Because there's creeps everywhere in the world. As a woman, I think you do need to be prepared for any violence or any intimidation. So I recommend you do some Kung Fu classes like I did, where you can just be prepared, have some skills in case you get in any situation that is threatening. In general, the statement uh, is trying to save for women. I would say it is definitely one of the safer places, uh, not only because of like the CCTV and the tracking of crimes, but I think the punishments are rather, you know, are, are like they're real and they're applied. So. I think there's a lot of reasons that China is safer for women, much better than Los Angeles, much better than America in general, and um, a lot better than most other places I've been to in Asia. And uh, China's also developed more, and I would say that it's a very safe place for women, so come and visit. Um, I mean, my frustrating answer is China's no safer than anywhere else for women. 
Uh, I came here, I was already married when I came here, so I wasn't like on the dating scene. And Lujo itself, while I lived there, was very much a grandparents and babies kind of town, which I think is relevant because I just like have not been able to be in the way of any kind of gendered violence or gendered harassment. Most women, I think, honestly are at more risk from their acquaintances and people they already know. When we talk about safety of women, we're talking about domestic partner violence and sexual harassment. Um, men have been creeps to me. That's true everywhere in the world. Go men. But I have not directly been in that situation just because that's, uh, I'm, already, I'm already married and he's not a creep. My, I have had friends be attacked. Uh, so, you know, I don't know who said China's a very safe place for women. It's as safe as anywhere else, I guess. That's, that's my thoughts. That's kind of a bummer note to end on. Um, I mean, China is a real place with real people living in it. So some of those people are good, some of those people are bad. If you're gonna ask me about, do I feel safe? I guess I have to ask, what do you mean by safe? And is feelings reality? I don't know. I don't know, Ursula. I don't know.